most of you understand when I talk about who, what, where, and why. Correct? Who are you? Who are you talking to? Where are you? What are you doing? But how many people actually use it at their commercial audition? Sometimes I'll have people come in and I'm working with them uh, in a class. I say, who are you talking to? And I, they go, America. <laughs> <laughs> and what does America look like? Well, you know, and I know you're talking at people. If you're not talking to somebody, then you're not talking to anybody. And when they watch it back in the monitor, back at their offices, wherever they are, if they don't believe that you're talking to them, then why would they watch you? And when you watch commercials today, don't you feel, I know you've never stopped to think about it really, but hopefully now you will, that, oh, I feel like they're talking to me. You don't feel like they're talking at you. They don't you don't feel like they're talking to America. They're talking to you, right? So you want to listen. But if I wasn't talking to you, you wouldn't feel like listening to me. I mean, you've been on that. I mean, if you turn QVC on those people, the way they talk to you, right? You don't really believe a word they're saying, correct? They're not actors. I had a girl come today. I, I usually meet people before I allow them to take my classes because I want to make sure I don't have any serial killers in there. But you know, I want to make sure that we're on the same page. And this girl came to me, and she's a hostess, and she does a lot of stuff for, for cars and stuff. And, and right away, she says, today, my, you know, she started like, doing that. And I go, hello, I'm over here. And by the three minutes later, I had her talking to me. She says, oh, my goodness, that, that's acting. And I go, yeah, that's the point. And I says, talking at people doesn't connect them to you when they watch you back. They don't care about you. Guys, think about this. How many people do you think they see per audition? Hundreds. And it, depending on the, on the material. They only have time sometimes to see 50 or 60, or, or sometimes they can see a couple, maybe 100, 150 in a day. So what is it that you do? Now, granted, I, the way I look at it is this way. 60% of why you get a call back. This is, my, this is my belief. No one has it written in, in marble anywhere, but it's my belief. 60% of why you get a call back is what you look like. Because that's what they're, 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 they base the commercial. They spend a lot of time working on that commercial so that it hits their target market. So you have to represent their target market. Do you understand that? So when you come in, sometimes they're a little all over the board and whatever. But if they have you on a call back, that means that they're interested in your physical type. So 60% of what, now how many people in here get callbacks but don't get auditions, or don't get the book, the jobs, right? I gotta tell you something, the difference between the callback and the, book, uh, the booking is what you do. Let me go back and go back over that again. 60% of why you get a callback is what you look like. 40% of why you get a callback is, is your personality, your confidence, and what you do with the audition. But the bigger part is what you look like. So at the callback, so many of the people already are the type that they've already typed the other ones out. So guess what? It changes. 60% is what you do, your talent, how you take direction, how the director works with you, and 40% is still what you look like because they're still fine-tuning. So if you're getting callbacks but not booking, then the thing I promise people, I can definitely make a difference.